So here we want to visualize the random walks. Random walks is uh, uh, we have a starting point and we can go in a two dimensional space in a two dimensional space in two dif di uh, different ways. We can go forward, backward in both x and y y's direction. And then each step has a different length that uh, you're gonna see in a moment. So this is a, a common way and uh, to plot the to exercise the plot that we have. Now uh, for this purpose we create two functions. One of them is a class basically uh, a random walk class. It generates, you see, we had, we covered the class in the last session. So in the init, we have the attributes on the points, which is a number of the points as a default value of 5,000. And then we have the initial value of the X and Y's, the attribute of the X values and Y values are zero. So the walk start as a zero. And you can see in this class we are using a library called random. So from the random we are using the choice function. The choice is the function that for a given set of the uh, input it bring, just select one value. So uh, it randomly choose a value from a given set of the values to this function. Uh, now so this init is uh, required for each class and uh, you can define the attributes based on the given uh, arguments. Now we have another method inside of this class called final walk. The final walk generates a random walk. Uh, so the x direction is uh, uh, select between 1 to is either 1 or minus 1 and then the distance is uh, 0 to 4 so it could be in the direction of the 1 uh, can go by 4 points 4 distance 4 units or 0 distance or it could the direction could be minus 1 and then maximum distance could be 4 so it says should I go in the positive way or in the negative way for the x1 and how much is the step the length of the step that we have so the step becomes direction times the distance the same thing happens for the y direction and then uh, there is a condition that if x step and y step is zero so that means if this choice is zero then it says repeat one more time and uh, then uh, each value of the x is added to the uh, next x that we have. So this next x is added to the x values. So next x is basically the value, the last point that we are right now, the x position, x coordinate of the last position and the x step that x is underscore step that we have. So x step is calculated here and then the similar thing happened for the y. So these two provides new coordinates, next x and next y. And then from current position that we have, we move to the next session. So this is how random walk is designed. So we have an attributes, that's the x and y values, and starting point is zero. Then we repeat up to 5,000 times that uh, if is, for example, if this is a default value. So we select either we go to the this direction or in the left direction, and the step could be 0 to 4. So if the we can go four, 4 units forward or 4 units backward if, if, the, four, if the distance is 4, and then we multiply this one. So this becomes minus 3, minus 4, or positive 3, minus 4. So that's the 
except that we have similar thing happen so this go this direction in the this direction we are going up or down and based on the number of distance so x step and y step is wider if we zero we get the new values and then we add then uh, the new point that we have is going to be the last point in the uh, list that we have plus the x step if we are here we may get this way or we may get this way or this way or this way so these are the possible case that depending on the situation we may get and then we have we want to plot this so for this uh, we can use a matplotlib uh, as a PLT and also we import the class that we just wrote and then we repeat this uh, for 5,000 times, 50,000 times so we get 50,000 points and then uh, we can uh, it's a Y loop inside of the Y loop so we may get iterated and each time we get 50 new thousand points so it keeps on adding the new points here we are just representing for two set of the data so here we have the plt.figure that uh, specify the plotting windows uh, characteristic dpi represent the resolution so 128 is a pretty good re resolution you can increase or decrease depending on the quality of the pictures that you want and then the figure size is a tuple that has a uh, two inputs. The first one is a dimension of the x-axis, which is uh, in the inch. So this is 10 inch and the y-axis is 6 inches. So I made it smaller here so to fit the window. But uh, if when you plot this, you're going to get the, in the actual size. And then uh, the, we have the point numbers which is a, a range of the numbers that we have here so uh, 50,000 once we have the around the, this one we get uh, 50,000 points and then we are plotting the scatter Sc as a scatter graph that uh, we have the x values y value and the color is changing based, based on the value of the points that we have and uh, at the end the end color is uh, the color map ends is uh, blue and then we don't have an edge color the outside of the edge circle is there is no color and then the size of the points are one now the scatter plot also has a 1.00 and the, the color is green and the, uh, uh, the size is 100 so this green line means that the point that we have stuck here so this point is a starting point this green line and uh, this rx that x values is the last point of the x that we have or that is the last point of the y values that we have so this is the ending point of the journey that we have so it has been represented by a color red and uh, you can see the size is under so uh, we are started here from this green line and we went all the way in the random ways and then we ended up into the red points so if you plot this uh, you may get a different figures because it's uh, you know the density it may move this way this way so your ending point may be a different because this uh, nature is a random graph and uh, so here we are removing the uh, y and x axis so by default this uh, set visible uh, the axis is visible so when we put the this equal to false you can uh, you can remove the x and y axis so it, you can do a single of them for example sometimes you you don't need to x you just this one put as a false and uh, you can put this one as a true so uh, you can have just one graph here if you need it depending on the situation that you have so 
you can see this is a very nice graph that it shows at the beginning it was the values are less and then it becomes uh, colorful so it's a very nice on uh, the plotting uh, 